I was like, oh, guys. So this is the Bruce Lee game that I was talking about. I just looked at looked looked, looked at it, and since it's about been out for two months, uh, this is the one that only played for maybe like ten seconds on a YouTube ad, and then just was gone. I'm like, they're coming out with a Bruce Lee game, and apparently they came out one with one on the original Xbox, which I've never seen. So uh, this is Project the Outcasts. Official Bruce Lee game trailer. So let's check this out. As usual, I'll mute my mic and all that stuff too. So, what is the highest technique you want to achieve? There is no technique. What are you thinking when facing your opponent? And there is no opponent. Why is that? Because I do not exist. A good martial artist never becomes tense. Without thinking yet, without dreaming. Gong Fu, the best example would be a glass of water. Every Gong Fu man is trying to do that. To be soft like water and flexible and adapt itself to the opponent. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. When you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. The water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. He hit him with that one inch punch and just saying a quick pause of this too i love the art style of the game you know it's very uncommon and very rare that any fighting type of games actually look like this because the most fighting games try to go for that high definition look you know the best graphics they gotta have you know the best you know powers of throwing fireballs or doing this amazing martial arts stuff like that. You know, you used to look like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, you know. They got to be in-depth with all this stuff, but they don't take the elegancy of, like, this does, where it makes it look like, like a animation movie literally just put into a game. You know, there's a big difference between that and then you look at something like Mortal Kombat or Soul Calibur or Street Fighter, you know, or even games like Tekken, you know, where it's just completely just polished over you know there's there's no creativity to it It doesn't really just draw you in like a story like this would you know that's what i like about this so far uh but let's get back to it
You must liberate your ambition. Not to think, to feel. Originally, it was not like this. Ah, he's alive! Better than before. What? We're going to follow the path of the king. Maybe we'll find his secrets. Who is going to kill him? Who's going to show his strength? 有种过来！嗨，玩玩而已，搭上命就不迟了。I almost see almost never any games that are like this. Uh, back in the day when you have like game servers come over, like I said, the whole HD graphics look like that, you know, just polished over boulders and rocks and crap like that. The one game that stood out to me the most is when I actually first started seeing trailers for it, and I actually still love the game today. The second one is still the best overall, is Borderlands. Borderlands is the only other game that I've ever seen that has ever taken that comic book style and put it into a game i have not seen any other game that's ever like that and especially with like you know this game with its graphics the way it is you know it's like an and one of those anime movies that they just slowly integrated into a game you know that very i don't know it's kind of hard to very smooth texture i guess you know very story like i know it's kind of, it's kind of hard to put into words but I would love to see games that have more like an art style like this. You know, they don't have to be, you know, you need like a 2480, you know, monitor just for the game to look good or, you know, high-end console and just for the game to look good. Just art style like this is what makes a game, you know. That's what the difference between retro gamers and, you know, pro new gamers. You know, they, they want the, the, the best looking graphics for games, but retro gamers, they don't care. You know, they'll play games like the Castlevania, you know, platformers and stuff like that because that's nostalgia for them. You know, you don't see games that are like that anymore, you know. And you, when have you ever seen a game that ever looks like this, you know, graphics-wise? You know, integrated some story into it, too, you know. Uh, I don't know whether or not this is going to come out on Xbox or PlayStation. I don't think it says. But, uh, and the fact that it's kind of being narrated by Bruce Lee who's also one of the, the most famous martial artists out there in the entire world. And he was like, what, 30, maybe 40 when he died? You know, somewhere around there. He was trained by IP Man, or Ip Man, if you want to call him that. You know, also good movies do that too. Uh, I can never remember which Bruce Lee movie it is, but it's, the, I want to see it's either Red Dragon or Enter the Dragon, it's somewhere around there where he has that nightmare of the, the samurai demon. He gets with the blonde chick and stuff like that. That is my all-time favorite Bruce Lee movie. And some of the other ones is like when Bruce Lee, you know, fought Chuck Norris. You know, just to see who was the better martial artist. You know, uh, he didn't he didn't boast him. He was trying to teach Chuck Norris, you know, hey, don't let your ego get in the way. You know, that was one of the nice things. Um, other ones was um, one of Bruce Lee's sons. I can't remember his name. Uh, he played uh, the a uh, actor who played, um, oh God, what was it, uh, The Crow. You know, that was his son was playing that. He eventually died, too. I don't, I'm not sure if there's any of the Bruce Lee family members even still left. But they're, they're basically making kind of like a narration or a game based around Bruce Lee. That's really awesome, you know, and I really admire that, too, that even today he's, you know, still considered a legend, you know. But, uh... Leave comments below. You know, let me know. Are you excited for this game? Do you think it's just going to be another if fighter game, or you know, do you like the art style and the way that they're going with it? You know, where it's not just throwing a bunch of fireballs and you know, gore tactics and stuff like that. But uh, leave comments below about that. Just drop a like. Think about subscribing, and uh, make sure to check check them out and uh, stay safe and healthy and sanitized. I'll see you guys.